Mauricio Perea, Facundo Torres, Duncan McGuire. They're getting output from all over. But I look big picture here. This is about a history for teams that's got three shutouts in their last seven. Lest we forget, on the opposite end of the field, they are numbered from City Park, and they've been outstanding in games in which they score first as well. 12-0-2 when they score the first goal. As Joe Dickerson gets us underway from Central. That's on Cartagena or Araujo. I understand they're not known for the goal scoring prowess, but so much space opening at the top of the 18. Here's a good decision to find Duncan McGuire. Delivery in towards Pereira. A little bit further inside, but as he comes on the diagonal, just watch Mauricio Pereira read that. It's perfect. He really understands that this ball is put right where it needs to be. He gets caught. Notice his mind. Angulo skipping away from Hebert. Good rotation here from Orlando City. Pereira back for Angulo. Jackson did well to retreat. Slipped through. Duncan McGuire and a big save from Birkin. It's a really impressive run by Duncan McGuire just over that back shoulder. That's the step that we've seen all first half. Yo As Torrenson replaces Joe Acchini, and that will be the lone change for both sides to start the second half as Joe Dickerson officially starts the second half from Central Florida. Tyler Terrence along with the ex-German pro. Into the path of Pareda. Thoraldson. Cute little nutmeg. And now it's Faku Torres. Orlando City lead. And the Lions are roaring through one of their main men, Faku Torres. It's what to do. Lack of width at times, lack of options underneath, and decision making, all of which are negated in a 10 second sequence. It's a beautiful run out of the pocket for Pareja, and he recognizes that he's got the trailing run just underneath of Thor Halston. You don't need a second, you don't need a third. Just let it fly the first time and let Facundo Torres go to work. Beautiful first touch around the corner. Romad Berkey slides to the near post, but the deflection has got him questioning which direction it's headed. Problem is, it by no means out of the range of Eduard Lubin. It is the German, and it's not a half bad effort. And now the much anticipated return of Joao Klaus. It has been 19 long matches across all competitions for the German DP, who got off to a rip roaring start at the beginning of the season. He had five goals and four assists in just nine appearances, went down with a nagging injury. Whipped in, Marcanic, not a bad ball whatsoever. And wins it back. Takes it off the feet of Torrenson. Into the middle, and it's in for St. Louis! But the flag is up over on the far side. Confidence, according to his head coach, Ryan Swan out of Northern Illinois. It's that first touch, though. The ability to get back around the outside. What an explosion into the final third over that left shoulder. And then again, it's beautiful vision. Credit to the trailing run on the near post. Beautiful redirection. But the speed, the ability in a five-yard span to just put down immediately, get to the byline and cut it across. How tight is that window? How beautiful is that touch? And now they're going to take a look. He's got him. Here's the real question. With the two looks that we have, can you definitively say that ball is 100% in play. This is what I want to see. If you're Joe Dickerson, I want that look right there. I want it slowed down, stopped, and zoomed in as much as humanly possible. Here's the call. It's a goal. For Rafa Santos, shouts for a handball. It'll simply be a corner for the moment. VAR will obviously take a look. Oh. I'll tell you what, that angle looks like it's his head. And you really hope he's okay because if it is, that is lift off in all the wrong spots. That's off his face. It's his face, right? I hope he's all right. <laughs> now a couple of the Orlando City players are asking for more noise. And they're going to go take a look at this.
Where's the arm? That's pretty close to the torso. I mean, there's not much more he can do to keep his arm as close I mean, to the his rules body. in this day and age are ridiculous in general, but in that specific situation. <laughs> penalty. And now with a chance to retake the lead for Orlando City. And he does just that. He's got a brace, and the Lions have their lead back. As we're into nine minutes of stoppage time, it's Orlando City 2, St. Louis City 1. It's contact on the face. Joe Dickerson points 12 yards out. Facundo Torres points to that bottom corner. Six games, Orlando City suffered. Swinger at the near post, one by Cartagena. That's the left, tees it up, and it's off the post! Whipped back in, and another corner for St. Louis. He wants to kill the game off for the goal. Ramiro Enrique tripped up from behind, and surely is a red card. Right outside of the penalty area, Nowitzki is sent off. That should all but do it. It's going to escape the player, but that touch right there is incredible by Ramiro Enrique. The next one, right in front of the trailing, Nowitzki doing everything he can. No one in the vicinity. And that'll do it full-time, Orlando City, unbeaten in 10 straight in all competitions, and they have their marquee win of 20.